When you create formula, you can refer to data in worksheet cells by including cell references in the formula arguments. For example, when you enter or select the cell reference A2, the formula uses the value of that cell to calculate the result. You can also reference a range of cells. While you can enter cell references in formulas by typing, you can also enter them by selecting them with the mouse or arrow keys. This is called pointing method. Using this method helps to avoid errors when entering cell references into your formulas. You can click on a single cell or select a range of cells with your mouse and Excel will automatically insert those cell references into your formula. For example, let us find the sum of order total for David in E2, E5 and E9 to E15 cells. Select the cell in which you want to input the formula. Type in equal sign to begin the formula. Notice that Excel displays enter in the status bar. Use an operator character or an Excel function to build the formula. Example, enter equal to sum. And select sum from the autocomplete menu. Now select cell E2 by clicking on it to enter it into the formula. Type comma to move to next argument. Now select cell E5 and type comma. You can also enter a range of cells. Click and hold down the left mouse button on E9 and drag it down the column to E15. or click on E9 and press shift and click on E15. Excel automatically inserts E9 colon E15 which are the cell references for the range of cells starting at cell E9 and ending at cell E15. Continue the process until the formula is finished. Press enter or tab when you are done. Excel calculates the formula and displays the result. Let us try entering a formula using the arrow keys. Example, enter equal to max and select max from the autocomplete menu. Navigate the worksheet using the right, left, up or down arrow key to reach a cell that you want to enter into the formula. As you press those keys, Excel will display a dashed border around the selected cell. A cell reference of the selected cell will appear in the cell where the formula is being entered and in the formula bar. In addition, Excel displays point in the status bar. Select E2. The dashed border encompasses cell E2 and adds that cell address to the formula. Type comma A solid color border replaces the dashed border of selected cell and enter appears in the status bar. Enter E5 using the same method. To select a range of cells, move to the first cell in the range then hold the shift key and move to the last cell. As you move, you should see the range of cells selected change. Press enter or tab when you are done. Excel will calculate the formula and display the result. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.